Uh, Julian, uh, look, we got in an arm wrestle for three quarters, we felt. And, you know, we we couldn't go with Carlton in the last quarter. Um, you can't win games of AFL footy if your arm wrestle stops a quarter short. Uh, the first, yeah, that's how I'd summarise it. Was it a, a work rate issue in that last quarter, or just a bit of class sort of rising to the top? Uh, I, I don't think it's ever one thing. Uh, there was a bit of uh, I, look. I wasn't disappointed with uh, with our work rate. I, I thought, you know, as a group, we all thought we worked we worked pretty hard, and we were quite happy with uh, the style of footy that we that we played for the for the most part. So it's probably you know a combination of a few things. But um, yeah, you know, we thought we went for for three quarters and couldn't couldn't seal the deal, and it's not going to beat AFL sides. So pretty comprehensively beat in the in the clearances. What did you put that down to? Oh, um, well, it wasn't for lack of throwing up a few things. Uh, yeah, that we got taught a and we got caught a, le- a lesson at the stoppages. You know, you know they had to. We were a bit reactionary at times, uh, we felt, and then you know a few other occasions, uh, we just got beaten by uh, some better players in a bit better form than our, than our boys around there. How do you um, you start someone such a great line? Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, look, with Beamer, he's doing everything that he is asked of him both from you know the player group and the, and the coaching group he's just not in great nick um so you know whether you know we keep going down the way you know he's working really hard and you know eventually those things turn but uh yeah it's not a, a work rate effort or a, a lack of trying he's doing all those things he's just not in in uh, great nick Yeah, Green, he, he went to hospital, uh, he's had a scan, the scans have cleared him of any serious damage, but he's he just needs to be uh, uh, looked after, obviously, but just monitored, I think that's the word I'm after, just needs to be monitored regularly, and um, we'll just see how he is in the early parts of the week. So scans clear, um, so no serious damage. But was it one of those Yeah, yeah, the, the fear was that uh, he, he had some type of you know, lung problems, so they went and scanned it and nothing too serious, but he's, he's pretty sore. Dave, you've had some big weeks at the club in recent years, but the last week, from the playing group point of view, how tough to play? Yeah, it was definitely right up there. Um, and I think, as Neil said, for three quarters tonight, we responded, but we're not going to win games uh, with a three-quarter effort. We need a full four-quarter effort. No, I don't think so. I think the players were really confident. We prepared as best we could this week, and um, we came out. and The first, particularly the first half, was was really good, and um, the morale of the group and the quality of training's been first class. So um, we know if we continue to tick the boxes and. We've got full belief in what the coaching staff are trying to implement. We continue to work on it. It's going to turn for us. Uh, to what extent do you think this week would have been good enough to make? Uh, it was pretty draining. Um, obviously, we got batted around, but that's no excuse. The boys prepared, like I said, and recovered as best they could from a disappointing effort last week in Sydney. And we really wanted to take on the Blues, who we were a quality side with some really uh, quality players as we saw tonight and it was a good challenge for us but we just weren't able to put the full four quarters together. Um, uh, it, defensively he, he's going really well and, he, and he's contributing. He was, from an offensive point of view, you know, Trenners wasn't great in the first half. He, he finished off pretty well. Uh, he, he got his hands on the footy a little bit. I thought he, you know, in the bit of an arm wrestle was still going on in the third quarter. I thought he was, he was pretty good. Uh, so he should be able to take that into next week with a bit more confidence. The difference from an offensive point of view between second and first half was um, there was a fair bit. Can you sort of use um, Richmond as an example? Well, two years ago, they were sitting here since nine. Yeah. They started a whole new course, or two years later, you see where they are. Is that sort of a, can you sort of make that comparison? Oh. 
Uh, oh, absolutely you can. Um, you know, I've said a few times that things, you know, major shifts in footy clubs take time. Um, we live in a, a society that's all about, I've got a bit now, give it to me now. Uh, you know, the idea that people can actually sit down and come up with a plan and, and make sure they're building solid foundations for whatever reason appears to be lost on the community, Julian. But Richmond is a perfect example. I uh, went to that game yesterday and watched Richmond take on Hawthorne and it was a great game of footy and the Tigers are playing really well. It's certainly not lost on me that two years ago uh, they were in exactly the same position as what we are now and they stayed the course uh, as a whole club and supporter base and they kept working hard and stuck at the structures that Dimmer wanted and the rest of the club wanted and you know but there's examples like that right through you don't have to go back very far um, but we're concerned about what we're doing and if you want to take similarities out you know there'll be no deviation from the way that our club wants to wants to uh, move forward and, and all the planning we're putting into place. And some of the leaders, not you, but some of the other leaders have sort of criticised throughout the week. Do you think that was fair? Did you see some response from some of those players today? Oh, I think they've been, all been challenged as a group. Um, and that's one thing we pride ourselves on is performing as a group. And um, I think they, they did stand up. It, it's the stuff that you don't see around the footy club uh, is where they really stand up. They're setting the standard and their professionalism is why they are leaders. And um, Yeah, they might not be in great form on game day, but they're leading the footy club in the direction we want to head in. Did you feel proud of the response given the week? Yeah, probably too strong. Look, um, those sort of questions, Peter, I find really difficult because they're sort of self-indulgent. It's not about, you know, it's not about me. We... We worked all week about um, what we wanted to serve up as a group and we wanted some continued improvement. We wanted to be better than what we were last week in Sydney and we did that. We focused a few areas and for three quarters we were quite, quite pleased. Clearance rate aside, um, you, know, we're, you know, we're in an arm wrestle for three quarters so we've got to keep keep learning and we'll, and we'll, we'll sit out and we'll analyse in particular that last quarter and you know Julian's pointed out the stoppages we'll have a look at those and we'll look for some more improvement and, but you know we, we've got to get better than playing three quarters and you know that's, that's clearly part of the message right, thanks, guys. Right. Oh.